I have just come back from a tour around the world. I host masterminds and networking events for female founders, entrepreneurs who are passionate to build a business. Now, what it takes to build a business. If you are listening to this message, maybe you are here for a reason because right now I want to share four steps that you can follow if you are just about to start your own business. The step number one is you definitely need to know what you're good at. What is your passion? What is your drive? What is your why? If you haven't discovered your purpose, get out of the house and meet people and take risks and do whatever it takes to find that connection with your higher self. Once you find it, I mean, it's not just about finding what you're good at because let's say you're maybe you're good in math, but you don't like accounting anymore. So how can you use what you're good at in something that is driving you to enjoy it, to feel that is your flow, is something that you're meant to do in life. Once you have discovered that, you call it whatever, I usually call it your purpose, but in order to make it simple, just find what you're good at and connect it with your higher purpose, your higher self that drives you to an enjoyable journey. And once you have found that, then we move to step number two. And the step number two is find the people that you want to help. Who are the people that you feel that you stand for? You're so passionate to help them, to support them, to contribute, to make their life better. So when you find these people, then remember, you have to connect your gift and what you're good at in to something that serves them. Let's say, maybe you love support children and then you find out what are you good at in supporting children and find out who are who are the children you want to help you can't help all the children of the world that means that you have to find your niche for example when i found my calling i knew i want to stand for women but hey i can't stand for all women of the world maybe yes you think big but you have to start small as you niche what is your audience what are you good at how can you provide that gift to your audience then you are ready to move to the step three and the step three is about getting to know your audience so well so you know their problems you know their uncertainties their challenges their issues whatever they're going through their anything that you feel that there is a gap in the market in that particular niche and then you decide to go exactly for that because knowing your audience very well and knowing their problems and knowing what they're going through, then it will help you to come to the step four, which is, yes, the step four is finding a solution. Now, yes, you're good at, you know what is your audience, you know what is their problem, and now you want to make sure that you are the one to help them. That's why then you connect all the dots together, what you're good at, what is your gift, what is your talent, how can you support them, and you create a product. So that is your solution, where you create a service or something that goes back to them, and once you have uh, found out, let's say, you have made a survey, you have asked them the questions, you have found out what is the biggest problem that they are going through right now, or what is something that maybe other people's other people haven't managed to find, to provide to them, then it's your time to find just that little solution that they have been waiting for. Now, let me give you a bonus. One more thing. Let's call it step number five. Once you have found what you're good at, I mean, what is your gift and talent and purpose and call it whatever. And then you have found your audience and you have found their problem and you have found the solution. In order for you to have a business, you have to learn how to do sales. Marketing and sales is the fuel of the business. If you do not master this, that means that your business is not going to be sustainable. But you cannot master the step five unless you have learned first how to go through the four steps that I just shared with you. Follow these steps and soon 
I will see you here at the Global Woman Club where you can come and practice and connect and take your business global.